Okay. This is good. This is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That was a little ramming, though. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a friggin' animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a friggin' animal. You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. Got it, Gus. Anticipated round one. Keep in mind what happened the last time Isaac Cross was in the ring with a bishop. That was Baby Bishop, Andre's brother. Now Andre seeks to avenge that brutal beating of his brother. When you've trained in situations like this, a power puncher against a fast fighter, what kind of adaptations does the fast fighter have to consider making throughout the fight? Well, he has to make sure that he has room in the ring, that he doesn't get trapped into corners. He doesn't get into a phone booth. Bishop's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Isaac Frost isn't a one punch at a time kind of guy. He will throw combinations like that. Frost showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Andre Bishop's left landing well. When the dangerous power-punching world champion Isaac Frost fought Raymond Bishop, Andre's younger brother, he had damaged him at this point of the fight. Not the case tonight as Andre is playing it safe. Well, I think what the case is tonight is Bishop right. learned from the mistakes right. of his younger brother. Nice He's work. not making nice those work. mistakes. He's not standing in Keep front of the bigger Frost too control. long. He's controlling his ego. He's Keep keeping it all control. about business. Don't give this kid any room to breathe. Andre Bishop could look for things to change here in round number two. He needs them to change because Isaac Frost oh, was gaining go. downhill momentum with his offensive attack. Right on the mark, double jab. Combo lands to the head. There's a straight right hand. Scores big with the hook to the head. That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. He has been shaken before. And we come to the end of round. Good work, Ken. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Number three is underway. If there's one thing Isaac Frost can do is generate power. Boy, did he just deliver some power with that uppercut. Chopping a little wood with that hook. Little head hunting with the left. What a shot. Big hook comes in. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Hook 
by Andre Bishop. Another thudding shot by Isaac Cross, this time the left hand. All of a sudden, a glimmer of hope for Andre Bishop. That was a good body shot. Coming to the halfway point of this third round, the trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. So many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to move on him. So start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. I don't know if Bishop saw this opening or if his trainer told him to go after it. But the body of Isaac Cross is right now an inviting target. And Bishop is taking advantage of it. Boy, and now that corner of Andre Bishop. They're just hoping to keep this fight going here with how bad that cut is. Yeah, they haven't really done their job as far as stopping the bleeding, but you know what? Believe it or not, some guys are bleeders, and it looks like Bishop is a bleeder. Oh, you gotta love Isaac Frost there landing the uppercut. That was something. Bishop's once again the target of a hook. Come on, Jim. Don't let him tap the ball. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is the key to victory tonight. That was a nice job with that front hand. Isaac Frost just landing a hook right there that got everybody's attention. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Right to the body. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Andre Bishop's giving me a sense that... Let's see if Bishop can survive this. He just took a big shot. I think he can survive it. Why? Because he has all that amateur experience. He's been in this position. Wow! And Bishop goes down. Well, this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up too. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring. And he is thinking of that right now, believe me. And an excellent uppercut by Andre Bishop. Combination to the body. Good left hand by Frost. His opponent dazed and stunned. Isaac Frost lands a damaging blow to the head. Bishop scoring with that right hand. Well, this is turning into an interesting fight now because Andre Bishop is actually having success landing body punches against the world champion, Isaac Frost. Well, Bishop's trying to remove some of that air out of the balloon. Go downstairs, slow him down a little bit. Maybe discourage him a little bit. Bishop's heading out there for this round. Oh, and what an unfortunate circumstance for Andre Bishop. There is blood now coming from above his eye. His cornermen are going to need to get all over that. It started in round four, and here in round number four, big left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand. Then he... Wow! Andre Bishop is down. How will he survive this?
coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. How bad is it, Gus? Oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Dre. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Mm. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. I got you. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Isaac Frost really targeting that cut above the eye now. He's looking for a TKO here. You know he's trying to make more damage to Andre. Bishop doing a good job, though, of protecting him. can sense blood in the water here, and let's see if he jumps on it. Andre Bishop's cut over the eye is in a really bad spot, and it doesn't look good at all. It's threatening his chances of winning this fight. Well, the game has just changed. You know, he's playing blackjack in Vegas, and he was playing $10 a hand. Now he's got to play $1,000 a hand. He's got to take a chance. He's got to catch up. Stop now. You understand? Now let's keep moving. Start the seventh round. Frost dominance in the first half of this fight was pronounced. Now, as this round begins, a new task for him. Finish up the second half of this fight just as strong. Andre Bishop, the ref has taken a look. He's taken a good hard look. We could have a stoppage here. A good headshot landed by Isaac Frost. Great work by the big man. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Move your head! Hey! Quit playing around with him and put that bastard away! Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah? Still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more! You got more energy, you got more power, and you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, Gus. Both guys meeting each other, strive for Bishop lands another combination. 
crashing. Teddy Frost looks tired. Frost has never been in this situation. Big plus shot. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. Hey up, bitches. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to wish you could. But you might have some problems running things from the pen. Hey. We had a deal. You gave me your work. She didn't give you my work. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better... Deal! Deal! Deal!